Okay, so this will be one-handed ties with real suture. Again, this is O silk, no needle. So remember, you're pulling through. You don't want to leave a lot of tail, otherwise it's harder to tie your one-handed knots. Just take as much as you can, conserve suture. So I'm going to start out. This is above, so you got to either tie your surgeon's knot two-handed because you can't tie one-handed one-handed surgeon's knot. Okay, or if you understand your knots, like we talked about, like Dr. Luchter and Dr. Lee like to tie granny knots on purpose. So granny knots used in the right situation are helpful. So what you'll, those, what you'll see them do is do an index finger one-handed tie and a second index finger one-handed tie. And what that does is not make square knots, it makes granny knots. But you can see how this is an air knot here. But granny knots slip like we talked about. That's why we don't tie them unless we mean for the knot to slip. So this is their substitution for the surgeon's knot when they're using one-handed ties. So now that I've done a granny knot with two index finger one-handed ties, I'm going to do the middle finger one-handed tie. So when you're doing middle finger one-handed ties, remember sutures between your index finger and thumb. Make the loop over your middle finger like so. And come out. Always push it down, okay? Same thing. Back to the index finger. Make the loop over your index finger. I'm holding it with my index finger and thumb. Sorry, I'm holding it with my middle finger and thumb, making the loop over the index finger. Index finger is going to grab across. And then you cinch it down nice and flat, okay? And again, to test this knot, same thing. And that breaks before it slips as well. Okay. So next video we'll just say, show the uh, right-handed two-handed. Sorry, the left-handed two-handed tie and the right-handed one-handed tie, just for people who are left-handed.